In working with photographs, especially across different platforms, size does matter. Most of the time when referring to the size of a photograph, we talk about it in terms of megabytes. Imaging devices from smartphones to DSLRs produce photographs ranging in size from a couple of megabytes to 80 megabytes. With a photograph open in the workspace, the size of the photograph is displayed in the bottom left-hand corner, right down here. In our current example, we can see that the photograph is 30.9 megabytes. There's a simple formula for determining the size of a photographic image. That is, width times height times resolution equals the image size. Controlling image size can be addressed in a couple of different areas. The first of these is the image size dialog box. In the Apple menu, go to image, drag down to image size, click, and a dialog box will open up labeled image size. The image size dialog box is the ultimate tool for controlling the picture size. At the top of the box, it lists the overall image size, which we've already noted was 30.9 megabytes. Next, it lists the dimensions of the image. Here it is set for pixels, but it also can be reset for percentage, inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, or picas. Next is the fit to box. We're going to leave this at original size. The next four items in the image size box work in conjunction with each other. Let's look at the fourth item first. It is the resample button. Checking or unchecking the box next to the resample makes a huge difference in the overall picture size. When the resample button is unchecked, the width, the height, and the resolution are locked. And regardless of the change you make, the overall size will remain the same. With the resample button checked, only the width and the height are locked, which means Depending on the change made, the image will be resampled or interpolated, which can make a huge difference in terms of the overall size of the image. So, with the resample button unchecked, let's change the resolution to 72 pixels per inch. We can see, when we do this, the width and the height get larger to compensate for the reduced resolution, keeping the overall image size the same. Now, with the resample button checked, let's change the resolution again to 72. Looking at our image size at the top of the box, we can see that the image that was 30.9 megabytes is now reduced to 1.78 megabytes, quite a bit smaller. And in fact, when we click OK in our image size box, the size of the image reduce, reduction is reflected by the size displayed in Photoshop. With the rule of thumb being that you need 72 pixels per inch for web reproduction, 200 pixels per inch for newsprint reproduction, and a full 300 pixels per inch for glossy magazine stock, you can see from our demonstration that size can make a difference. While you can always size a photograph down from a larger size, resizing from a small photograph to a larger photograph can oftentimes result in degrading the image. Another tool for image resizing is the crop tool. If we click on the crop tool in the toolbar, we can see up in the options menu that we can set the width, the height, and the resolution just like we can in the image size box. Let's go ahead and set in 14 by 8 by 72 pixels per inch. And we can see we now have a crop box on our image that conforms to these dimensions. If we double click inside the area of the crop box, our image is resized back down to a much smaller image because of the resolution that we put in the pixels per inch. And in fact, looking down here in our image size in the lower left hand corner, we can see that the image is 1.66 megabytes. Let's look one more time again. We'll go back here. And instead of 72, let's use 300 dots per inch. Again, we have a crop box that looks very similar to what we had when we set it at 72. But when we double click inside, a much smaller reduction. It went from 30.9 megabytes to 28.8 megabytes because it, while it cropped a little bit off the ends of the image, the 300 pixels per inch kept the image at a very large size. In this video, we've looked at two different ways for resizing photographs in Photoshop. The first was the image size dialog box. The other was the crop tool. In both, we emphasize that you need to be aware of the fact 
that photographic size is made up of three dimensions, the width, the height, and the resolution or pixels per inch.